Hey everybody, Vance Fair here, www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Um, this is going to be a really quick video post. Um, there are no blanketed statements in research, so whether a trial is good or bad for you is not known until you've actually done it. So anyone who says, I guarantee you're going to have a good experience, or I guarantee this is going to be good for you, or I even guarantee this is going to be terrible and the worst thing you've ever done, is lying. Uh, there's no way to know unless you're currently in a study because they're random. That's why they're called randomized trials. There's no way to know. So anyways, um, here's some good reasons why you should join a trial or why you should consider joining a trial. Um, number one is you're currently not happy with your medical treatment and you're willing to try and experiment new things knowing that you could possibly get worse. That would be a good reason to consider a trial if you're willing to go through that. Um, number two, you want to earn some money. Um, especially for the phase one studies. That's certainly a reason to consider a trial. Not the only reason, but it certainly is for many people. Uh, that's just the way it is. Number three, you're not happy with your current medical attention. And that's going to be a big one coming up with all this healthcare reform stuff going on. Um, that's a good reason to consider joining a trial. There's uh, definitely a lot of medical attention that you're going to get in a trial, probably more than you want. So be careful what you ask for. Uh, there's a lot of procedures, and if you're willing to do that, that's a good reason to join a trial. Number four, you're going to benefit society, and you want to do that. That's a very noble reason to, to join a trial. Now, don't feel bad if that's not your reason. The fact that you are participating in a trial, you're going to be accomplishing that, that, that reason anyway, because science is going to benefit regardless of how the trial, how your experience is with the trial. So science is going to benefit whether you have a good experience or a bad experience. Now, here are some reasons why you should not consider joining a trial. You've heard that you're going to get excellent and free medical care. That's not a reason to join a trial. It's false. You've heard that people have gotten better with the study drug, and you're pretty sure that's going to happen to you. Not a good reason to join a trial. Um, you've heard that you're going to get paid, and it's really easy and it's basically like getting money for free. Not a good reason to join a trial. There's a lot of stuff to do. Ask anyone who's been in a trial before. There are a lot of procedures to do. Sometimes it's like a full day's of work. Um, hopefully this uh, clears up any misconceptions about clinical trials, why you should and should not, what your expectations are, and oh, I'm watching the, the Clipper game here. Um, so hopefully this, uh, this helps you out. Um, I may have missed some expectations that some people have, so you know, feel free to let me know if, if I miss anything. What are some good and bad reasons why one would consider joining a trial? www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com, 714-484-4904. That is my phone number. Monday through Fridays, 9 to 5, you can reach me. I'm usually at my office, 714-484-4904. Dan at theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Thank you very much.